Da, 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 da. This is a special edition. Save taxes in 2019. This is your guys' last chance. We're going to be doing a, a special edition with Damon Lupo, the QRP man. And we're going to be discussing some last minute changes in the law, right, Damon? That's the it. QRP. Some changes that happened, kind of like what Congress does, the, the midnight hour right before Christmas in December 2019 and made it effective January 1st. Lane, this is the biggest overhaul in 13 years since like 2006. So it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, so Damon was doing handstand push up against the wall and he decided to call me up and we just realized that we need to record this for you guys so you guys can hear about this right away so here we go this is a story about a dude named Lane and then one day he went and tried to rent them out and then he became one of the main What's the big news, man? All right. Well, just real quick for people that don't remember or you've never heard of it, just remember the EQRP is it's that checkbook for your retirement money where you can invest quickly. Like in these deals that come up where you have a matter of days or weeks, you need to do it fast. This gives you that option. You can use this if you've got employees or you have no employees. I'll talk about one of the changes in the SECURE Act. That's what we're going to talk about that actually impacted the whole employee thing. This one gives you lawsuit protection, which none of the other plans, the IRAs and solo plans, they don't have that. It gives you that $50,000 credit line, which is pretty nice for all sorts of things like education or things you might want to spend some personal money on. And then obviously you can use this thing with debt. And for a lot of you, that's really important because many of you are investing your IRA money in syndications. And the problem with that is that you've got the UBIT tax, which is up to 37%. And this is basically, if you've got a deal where you got money in something that has debt, like any of these multifamily deals and your IRA is investing, you've got a huge tax bill coming. Good news is EQRPs are exempt from that and we can move IRAs into the EQRPs. QRP. So good news is you're not stuck unless you don't do anything. And I'm going to give you a way. Lane is going to share an opportunity for you guys to get some more information in a couple of minutes and you guys can fix that problem. We'll help you fix it. Yeah. Let's and let go. me kind of yeah. repeat what Damon said in case you guys have been living under a rock the last couple of years. We've done several webinars on this. You guys can check that out at simplepassivecashflow.com slash QRP. Also get that free book there too by signing up. But this is the self-directed IRA, Roth IRA killer right here. You are able to take your 401k, roll it over into a QRP, not pay taxes on it and invest in whatever you'd like, syndications, rental properties, and call it the killers because with investing with a normal self-directed Roth IRA, for example, you're subject to the UDFI tax, which is on the leverage portion. And that sort of circumvents this. So more information there, but for a lot of you guys already have heard about this, this is a new update on some changes. Yeah. And, and I think sometimes there's so many details to give you a really simple simple example. If you have a $50,000 investment in a property and it's got 70% debt, which is very common, and your 50,000 turns into 100,000, when that property sells, you're going to have a tax bill probably around 10 or $12,000. Just so you know, that's what's coming if your IRA, any type of IRA, regular, deferred, or Roth is invested. And if you have that investment using a qualified plan like EQRP, that tax bill is zero. So that's the real numbers. 50,000 turns into 100, you're probably paying around 10 to $12,000 in taxes. So Let's not do that. That's dumb. Right. Your grandpa was probably using a self-directed IRA to invest on the debt side of deals, but I don't really know too many people in my circles that invest in debt. They want equity and the depreciation with it. Yeah. Most of the investments that people are doing are definitely on the equity side. And there's only one real smart way to do it where you're not paying taxes. So that's what this is all about. All right. Why don't we get into the SECURE Act? And basically there were a number of things that happened here that matter to you. A lot of this stuff had to do with insurance companies, but there's a few things that are really important. The first one that's huge, like right now, let's say it's to March of 2020 and you realize you made too much money. You realize, oh my gosh, 2019, I made too much money and you got to try to figure out how to save money on taxes. Well, it's usually too late. What Congress did is they said, you can set up a qualified plan like the EQRP all the way to the time you file your taxes. So this actually could be all the way till October of 2020. And what that means is you can set up a plan for the previous year and then you can contribute. So I'm going to get into an example of what you could do. Just understand this is actually actually a tax planning, but backward, like it retroactively, you can go all the way backwards to December and have the effective date to save money on last year's taxes, even though we've already gone into the new year. Congress also changed the rules around retirement accounts. So a lot of times people had set up solo 401ks and they thought that was great. But the problem is now they're saying if you have part-time employees, those people have to be included in a plan. So a solo 401k will blow up. An EQRP, on the other hand, is actually adaptable. It includes employees. This is huge. So even if you don't 
don't have employees, you don't want a plan that gets blown up if you're investing because you hire a part-time person. One of the big strategies for the last 20, 30 years was something called a stretch IRA. And that basically meant you had as an estate planning thing, you were giving somebody your IRA, they could take that IRA and they could spend it the rest of their life. Well, Congress said, nah, we don't like that. That's kind of not really what the purpose of it was. So we're going to make you take all that money over 10 years. So somebody inherits it, they got to spend it over 10 years. And that allowed Congress to push that money back into the system and start getting taxes. It's how they paid for the legislation. The unrelated business income tax, which is what we talked about, that 37% for leveraged real estate is still exempt in an EQRP, it is not exempt in an IRA. So you're going to be paying that tax if you have IRAs in real estate, you're not going to be paying it with an EQRP. And they raised the limits for EQRPs, not for IRAs, but they raised the limits now. It's 57,000 per year. And if you're over age 50, it's 63,500 per year. So a little bit more, still 10 times more than an IRA. And let me give you an example about the big one, the retroactive. So let's just say you made 200,000 bucks in 2019. You've used all your deductions and you're stuck. One of the problems is you don't get to take advantage of that 20% deduction that Congress gave everybody a couple of years ago. And the only way you can do that is if you make under 157,000. So one thing we can do now is we can set up an EQRP, make it effective December 31st. You can contribute 50,000 bucks and now your income is 150. Well, if it's 150, then you qualify for that deduction. You get to take another 20% off. So your actual income on the books, your adjusted gross income is like 120,000. That basically means that you're, by doing this strategy, you're going to save about $20,000 in taxes instantly just because Congress changed the rules. So this is a really big deal when you've made too much money and you forgot to do this before the end of the year. Congress gave you a big gimme. And a lot of our guys, like the doctors in our group, they're making about like 350 and above, like 400. So mm -hmm. that's kind of another example. Maybe put 50 grand into your QRP to get you from 400 down to 350. I don't know exactly where the tax levels are, but I know above 350, you get absolutely killed above that. It's, it's brutal. And uh, if you're married, if you make under 315, you can get that 20% deduction. So like, let's say you made 400 and you and your spouse each contributed 50. Now you're under 315. Now you get the 20% deduction. That's a $60,000 deduction off that 300. So you're talking about 60 plus 100 that you put in. So you're talking 160 off of your 400. I mean, at that highest tax bracket, you just saved about $50,000 in taxes by doing this. And 50 cents on every dollar. It's massive. It's, I mean, it's like, you got to know about this. If you're not doing this and you're making a bunch of money and you're trying to figure out what to do other than drink heavily, you got to look at this. This is about the only thing you can do retroactively. And one of the other questions, just to reiterate this, it's important for people to know anybody who's qualified, if you're doing deals, if you're a passive investor in deals, if you're a doctor and you're investing and you're self-employed as a doctor, I mean, if you have an eBay company, like you have an eBay store, if, even if you're a W2 employee, you have employees yourself, even your grandmother, like it doesn't matter really what your situation is. There's a way to utilize this strategy. So it's not just for some random alien class of people. It's literally for anybody that wants to not pay as much taxes as they're paying. All right. I think people say, well, I'm just a W2 worker. I've been that way for the last 30 years. We can make this work. Yeah. It, we're in the digital age. And so when somebody says, I don't have a business and I'm not qualified, I say, well, what's an eBay store? Like, what does it take to set up an eBay store where you're, you know, you put some stuff on there or like, there's a lot of ways we can make it work. Bottom line is if you want to do it, you can do it. The only reason you're not qualified is if you disqualify yourself. And that's kind of it. This is probably something you should know about. If you don't already have the book, we just updated it for 2020 with the new rules and you can get a copy of it. I will send you a copy. If you go to simplepassivecashflow.com forward slash QRP, and there's a little form there, you can get a copy of the book. We'll send it out to you and we can talk to you about setting this thing up again, retroactive all the way back to December. And that's part of the rules now. So you take advantage of it if you can. And just to hammer that again, before you had to do it all in the same calendar year, right? But now it's sort of like how you can stuff money into your Roth IRA for the past year. Again, I don't know why you would want a Roth IRA or an IRA in the first place. Because you don't know better. I mean, people that yeah. do that, they simply just, that was the best information they had. And that was the way you could do it retroactively. In, in April, you said, oh, well, I can get another $5,000 off my income if I put money in, into an IRA. Well, shoot, now you can do 50 plus thousand dollars using this strategy. And it used to be you had to do it by, by New Year's Eve. Now you can do it all the way until October. Most of our investors, they file extensions because they don't want to give the IRS another six months to do it. And they want to see these changes happen in front of them for the next year to be able to plan. So that's right. You can delay all the way to October, right? Not April. Yeah, right? yeah all the way till October. If you're doing an, an extension, it's all the way till October. This is a good one to learn about now. So you're not stressing about it for the next 10 months, but it's, you've got time now because Congress, they kind of gave you something instead of just taking things away. So it's great to take advantage of it. If you see this, uh, you should be looking at it. Right. One random question while I have you, Damon, I had a guy, he's signing some PPM docs right now. He's using his QRP to invest in a leverage 
syndicated deal. And he looked going over the documents and you have to sign whether you're a natural person or LLC or a trust. How are you setting these up? Is it LLC or trust? Yeah, the plan is a retirement savings trust. That's the technical term for it. Every PPM has slightly different verbiage. Some of them don't have that term on it. So we have to figure out what makes sense. Oftentimes it's the trust because it's not a typical 401k plan that's governed under ERISA. So we look at those and that's part of the service we provide is looking at those documents and making sure that those boxes are checked correctly. It's typically a trust. Because sometimes you could do like a Wyoming LLC. Sometimes it'll be a trust, right? It just depends where they live or yeah, every situation is different. It's, it's different. And so there's not a one size fits all in terms of what they're supposed to do. So really it's, it's important to make sure that your team is looking at the PPMs and then giving you guidance on what to check so that you're in compliance. All right. Well, yeah, this is meant to be a quick update for you guys. Grab the 2020 edition of the book at simplepassivecashflow.com slash QRP. And every situation is different. I think a situation that does come up a lot is somebody reads that dang purple book, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. They realize they have half a million or $2 million in their silly 401k. And they realize they're not going to be able to retire because it's not cash flow based investing and they need to get the money out of it. Well, instead of blowing up their adjusted gross income and taking it all out in one year or five years, the QRP is a good option for that to get it out onto the battlefield, but not pay that UDFI tax and not to have it show up as income right away. Yeah. One bonus I'll give you guys too, if you want to reach out and get the book and reach out to us, there's a way for you to get your money out of your 401k at any age without paying any of that 10% penalty. So we can help you do that. If you want to take some of it out, there's some taxes involved like normal, but normally if you're 40, 50 years old, you got that 10% penalty and we can actually delete that and get rid of it completely. So kind of a nice little bonus. What's kind of the mechanism for that? Well, that's part of the surprise lane. And it's basically using the, the Roth mechanism, you know, doing some conversions and and then the rules around when you can take Roth money out. That's one of the strategies that we give people. It's just, it's available with every EQRP that's set up. You have the ability to, to pull your money out, no penalty. I got it, got it. Get the book, guys. Talk to real people. Stop just listening to podcasts. If you've been listening to podcasts for more than two years and haven't done anything, you need to get off podcasts and talk to real people. <laughs> All right, Damon, we'll see you in Hawaii coming up. And here's to 2020. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. See you guys. This website offers very general information concerning real estate for investment purposes. Every investor situation is unique. Always seek the services of licensed third-party appraisers and inspectors to verify the value and condition of any property you intend to purchase. Use the services of professional title and escrow companies and licensed tax, investment, and or legal advisor before relying on any information contained herein. Information is not guaranteed as in every investment there is risk. The content found here is just my opinion and things change and I reserve the right to change my mind. Above all else, do your own analysis and think for yourself because in the end, you are the only person who is going to look out for your best interests.